to the family please subscribe if you have not already so in today's video as you guys can tell by the title I'm going to be doing a video on my MAC lipstick collection now I know MAC lipsticks are quite expensive and I feel like in order to like purchase one you have to do a lot of research so most of these shades well all of these shades I've done a lot of research on before I actually purchased and I'm quite happy with all the colors that I have I really wanted to do like my MAC collection and just talk you guys through the swatches so that if you want to actually purchase a MAC lipstick you kind of have a bit of background as to how it's gonna look on you and you won't regret your purchase because it is expensive let's get real so so just disclaimer really quickly you guys um, nobody needs this many lipsticks. I have 13 of the lipsticks and 3 of the liquid lipsticks. Some of them were gifts to me and some of them I've really invested in because I do people's makeup sometimes every now and again and I really need to have a good selection of colors to apply onto my clients. So yeah, let's just get into these swatches. So quickly before we hop into the lip swatches, I want to talk to you guys about my two favorite lip pencils from MAC. I only own two lip pencils from MAC. I wish I owned more but what is? Um, the first one is MAC Plum Lip Liner, which is really, really tiny because I use it a lot. I actually have a back off of this because I love it so much. And then the next one is Night Moth. So Night Moth is a bit of like a really, really dark burgundy. You can build it up so much that it looks like Van B Lips. It's amazing. So this right here is Night Moth. And then this one right here is plum and I feel like plum is like the perfect neutral lip liner for dark skin girls so you guys will be seeing me using these lip liners in this video quite a bit so without any further ado let's get to it so the first lipstick I'm going to be talking about which is the lightest in my collection and what I'm wearing right now is called honey love and this is a matte finish it has a little bit of pinky tones in it it's like pinky peachy tones so this is a really really nice nude shade on darker skin girls so the next lip color I have on is MAC Spirit Lipstick and obviously I combined this with MAC Plum Lip Liner because again it is a bit new to be worn alone, some people can put it off, I personally can't. So I just swatched it on my hand here and as you guys can see compared to Honey Love it is much more of a brownier tone, still is in the nude family but much more brownie. Next is Pink Plate Lipstick. Now if you guys are OG subscribers of mine, you know that I really, really love this lip combination. Again, I pair it with Plum Lip Liner because it really, really looks really nice on the lips. And it's like an, it's pretty much like a natural everyday pinky nude lip that you can wear all the time. If you compare it with Spirit and Honey Love, you can see that it is so much more pink. And yeah, it's like a pinky nude color, not too, too pink but it looks really really nice with MAC Plum Lip Liner. Next is Whirl Lipstick which again is a matte finish. Now this can make you look washed out as well so I pair it with MAC Plum Lip Liner again. What's new? Now as you guys can see in comparison to the other nude colors this one is brownie. It's like a brownie pink color but it's really really flattering on darker skin tones as long as you line your lip with a little bit of a darker lip liner and of course this color was made famous by Kylie Jenner so I'm loving it. Now MAC liquid lipsticks have such a long name so I'm just gonna call it liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Mademoiselle. Again I don't use this alone I use this with MAC Night Moth lip liner so this is what it looks like. It's actually like a pale peachy shade um, as you guys can see, Honey Love is a lot more wearable than this one. It looks like it would be fine on darker skin tones, but it actually looks very, very pale and it washes you out. Next is the shade Candy Amia, which is a really, really bright, vibrant pink color. Again, I don't like to use this on. I prefer to use this with a darker lip liner because it just looks so much better with a darker lip liner. As you guys can see, it is a really, really, really bright, bright, bright pink color. And yeah, this is like the most stunning pink I have ever seen. Some people may think it's a bit too loud to wear, but I personally love pinks like this. And yeah, this is probably like my favorite pink lipstick of life. 
Next is Heroin. Now again, this is a matte formulation and this is like a purple with like pinky undertones. It's very, very pretty. My camera is playing me. It does not look like this in person. I hope I can get a selfie or picture and insert here somewhere. But this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty, really vibrant. This is definitely a summer color. Again, I don't like to use it by itself. I would actually prefer to use it with a darker purple lip liner, but it is either way very, very pretty. Next is a MAC liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Tailored to Tease. And this you can definitely get away with wearing alone. It's a really, really pretty shade. It's really, really dark pink. And I think it will suit all darker skin tones. As you guys can see, this is what it looks like. It's a whole lot darker than MAC Candy Yum Yum. And I think this one is definitely really, really pretty for women of color. Sticking with the purple family, this is the liquid lipstick in the shade Recollection. Now this is very, 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 very close to MAC Heroin. So Recollection is just a much more matte, darker version of Heroin. But yeah, it's a really, really nice color. Again, you can wear it by itself or you can wear it with a lip liner. Next lipstick is Girl About Town and this is an amplified version. Now this is a really really nice creamy lipstick. It's super super pigmented and it is bomb.com. Now if you compare Taylor to Tease to Girl About Town, Girl About Town is much more wearable and less neon. I feel like Taylor to Tease is a lot more neon than Girl About Town. Next lip color is Relentlessly Red. Again, this is a matte formulation. Now this is like a cross between a red, a pink, and a little bit of a coral color, but it looks really, really nice and really stunning. It's such a unique color, and I think it looks so, so nice on darker skin tones. Next is the shade Ruby Woo. Now this is a matte as well. This is actually a retro matte. And this is a really, really stunning red color with bluish undertones, which means it suits darker girls quite well. Now I find that this specific color, I mean, it either works for you or it doesn't. In terms of my sister and I, like my sister and I are like slightly different skin tones but Ruby Woo looks better on me than it does on her. On her it looks a bit more orangey in tone. I don't know why that that's the case but if you guys find that you're having a situation where you tried it on it's looking a bit orangey at the MAC store then maybe go for MAC Red or Russian Red. I love this one because I feel like it definitely has a bit more bluish undertones on my specific lips but if you're having a problem try MAC Red or Russian Red. Next is Diva. Now Diva is another matte formulation and this is a really really pretty dark berry shade. It's very complimentary for all darker girl skin tones. It is such a stunning color. Again, a very unique color. Um, and yeah, it's really really pretty. So this is what Diva looks like right here. You can see in comparison to Ruby Woo, it is a whole lot darker and it's like berry shade. The next shade is Stone. This is a matte finish and this I feel like you kind of have to have an acquired taste for. It is like a very stony color with like a bit of purpley undertones. I prefer to actually use this with a lighter lipstick on the center of the lips because it really really makes the lips pop. I really really like this in the winter time. It looks very very nice. I personally love it. Not everybody will love it, but I do. So this is really nice if you like that grungy, stony lip color. Next is a limited edition lipstick from the Magic of the Night collection. And this is the shade Evening Rendezvous, which is a matte finish. Now, when I compare this to all the other purples that I have in my MAC lipstick collection, this is kind of in the family of MAC Heroin, but it's definitely darker and a lot more wearable than Heroin. So this is a really, really nice color. Unfortunately, it is discontinued now because limited editions don't last very long, but I'm really happy that I have this color because it is just stunning. So this is the last color in my collection called Matte Royal. It is a matte formulation once again. And as you guys can see, it is a questionable color, but I really, really like it. I think it is really, really nice to kind of have these 
pops of like weird lipstick shades in your collection. Um, this is a really really nice blue shade. In pictures it kind of looks like it has a purpley undertone. So it's a really really nice blue. I personally love it. Like I said some of these things are acquired tastes. This is just something that I acquired. So that is it for my lip swatches. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, like my video, share with all of your friends and all their great stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!